Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA Alien vs Predator Celtic Predator so there's actually two waves of these guys out right now there's these three predators right here which are the three main in the film so we have Chopper there on the left and the Unmasked Scar in the middle along with the Celtic Predator right here on the right and then the second wave are the sort of ancient ones they're the ones that are in the flashback fighting on the pyramid against like the horde of like hundreds or thousands of xenomorphs um, whereas these three are the main three characters in the movie in the present day and obviously you can go ahead and pause this right now if you want a bio it is a bio of the movie and then a bio of the character itself which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look and here is the Celtic Predator and the packaging. This thing had my jaw dropping when I took it out of the packaging. It is such an amazing figure and I cannot wait to get the other two out now. Predator is a, you know, a massive franchise that I absolutely love and adore. They were certainly the first NECA things that I ever bought, so I have a big connection to the Predator line, and this thing does not disappoint whatsoever. No matter what angle you look at this thing, it is absolutely phenomenal it is massive and there is so much detail in this guy whether it be the sculpt whether it be the paintwork he stands roughly eight and a half inches tall and if you want to see him next to his two other brothers then go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel but for this guy let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he comes with he's a little uh, loose here at the ankles as i spin him around but stood up just fine he is uh, perfectly capable of standing on his own two feet now he comes with the, uh, the throwing disc the throwing star the whatever i forgot what you do actually call this item but uh you know, it's an extended one and it looks fantastic, very shiny, fits in his hand very nice. Obviously, he can only hold it in the right hand. He does not come with any interchangeable hands, so he just has this open hand and this gripping hand, and that is it. Uh, he has, obviously, the combi stick slash combi spear, whatever you want to call it. Uh, an open one, as you can see. There is actually a little clip here on the back. I don't know if you can see it just there. It actually slots in there and can store at the grip section. Now, uh, the other Predator figures do actually come with a, a collapsed combi stick, so you could obviously interchange the accessories there and give him one of those so that you know you don't have this thing on his back because they would never actually store uh, an extended combi stick on them. He also comes with a sword slash dagger. It's a sword for any other figure, but for the size of this thing, it's basically just a dagger. As you can see, it's in a sheath down there on the side of his right leg, and it looks pretty damn cool. It's very nicely detailed indeed. Again, shiny, and it looks weathered slightly too. Just like the entirety of his armor, it all has that weathered sort of look, a lot more so than his weapons, but uh, yeah, definitely love the sort of pitted look of uh, Predator armor. So fantastic. You also have these uh, the claws right here, which are removable. You just go ahead and pull them out. So if you just want to have one extended or if you just don't want any in there at all, you can go ahead and remove those if you wish. And then he also has his shoulder cannon right here, which has uh, a hinge here and a hinge here. So you can have it in the downward position and then you can have it up and you can go ahead and extend it because it's actually on a little slide right here. It's plugged in so that it's in a better firing position uh, on his shoulder right there. So I think that's really, really cool. You can also just go ahead and take this off. There's a couple of holes in here where you plug these in for his mask. If you don't want to plug them in there, you can just fit them in there wherever, just rest them over his shoulder. But they do actually fit in these two holes right here next to my thumb. And it's easy enough to go ahead and get them in there. Like I had them, I had them between some of the dreadlocks, so it actually holds them in place much better. Uh, so yeah, this just connects in this port and this port right there and then uh, As for the rest of him. We have a couple of those discs on his belt, which is pretty sweet uh, This piece right here is actually flexible So it moves along with him as you rotate the torso, which is pretty cool And obviously because it's flexible it does allow for articulation still so that's pretty cool So 
The head, uh, if I just go ahead and pull this necklace down a little bit, keeps on rising up because in the package it was like this. So it just really wants to like rise back up. I just have to keep on pulling it down. Uh, the head moves left and right. Obviously the dreadlocks, they're, they're hard, but they get more flexible as they get down. But, you know, they are going to move out the way for articulation. They're not going to hinder it too much. So the head looks up and down, left and right, pivots a little bit there as well. These shoulder bells are actually on a hinge right in here so that the arms can go forward and back and up and down and it will still move out of the way for them. Rotation right there at the upper part of the arm. We have double jointed elbows, rotation uh, right here at the elbow joint and then we also have a rotation and a hinge at the wrist. We have ball joint here and ball joint here. So you get the same forward and back and left and right movement from both and obviously the two together do allow pretty decent articulation right there in the torso. The legs come out to the side forward and back we have a thigh rotation double jointed knees which is really really cool how this works it seems to like come out of the leg there because the hinge is quite far back there really really nice this whole shin armor here is actually kind of a shroud around the inner leg uh, so it's actually armor uh, but it's rubber and flexible which you can see down here i can move it which means that the foot can still move up and down inside that joint and then left and right and we have a bit of uh uh, pivot right there as well. Now one problem I have with this is they forgot to put the spike in this side. It's nowhere uh, on the floor from me opening it and it's nowhere in the packaging or anything so there should be a spike on each side. It doesn't really matter that there's not one there. It's not something that I'm really going to be focusing on when it's on display but I just thought I'd mention it isn't there so that is a quality control issue. I 100% recommend that you pick these three figures up, even if you're just into the Alien vs Predator films and you're not really into Predator itself. I think all of the armor on these guys, as opposed to regular Predators from like the first and second films, really, really puts them apart and, you know, in a league of their own. I think they're absolutely fantastic and you should definitely pick them up. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like and if you want to check out more Predator reviews go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see more pictures of anything else from my collection check out my Instagram, it's homerino123 and the links are in the description below. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.